Number 72. Identify the following substances as ionic, metallic, covalent network, or a molecular solid. Okay, so let's read the paragraph. Substance A is malleable, ductile, conducts electricity well, and has a melting point of 1,135 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I guess since they go on to substance B after this, let's first find out what substance A is. So I'm going to write down substance A. Now I gave the properties, the physical properties of the four different types of crystalline solids. You can form an ionic crystalline solid, metallic, covalent network, or a molecular crystalline solid. So in this case, substance A is malleable, ductile. It conducts electricity very, 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 very well. And it roughly has a high melting point. I mean, the melting point is like 1000 degrees Celsius. But the key here is that this substance conducts electricity very well. And there's only one type of crystalline solid that will conduct electricity well. And that is your metallic substance. See here where it says conducts heat and electricity well. The other three of them, they don't, especially if they're just a, um, a solid. So ionic will only conduct electricity as a liquid, but not as a solid. And your covalent networks and your molecular uh, crystalline solids, they do not conduct electricity. Not conductive, not conductive. So as soon as you see that a substance conducts electricity well, that's a metallic substance. So we're going to put that there. We know this one. This is a metallic uh, solid. Okay, moving on to substance B. That was fun. Okay, so metallic, metallic, <laughs> substance B. Substance B is brittle. Okay, so it, it breaks when you, you know, try to touch it. It does not conduct electricity as a solid, but does when it's molten and has a melting point of 2072 degrees Celsius. So here we go again with that conducting electricity. It does not conduct electricity as a solid, but does when it's molten. When it's molten means that it's basically in a liquid form. So now there's only one type of solid that will only conduct electricity as a solid. Um, sorry, there's only one type of um, crystalline solid that will conduct electricity, not as a solid, but as a liquid or if it's dissolved. And that's the ionic one. Conducts electricity as a liquid, but not as a solid. So that's the same thing as saying that it's molten. So substance B has to be a ionic solid. Okay, substance C. Let's see. Substance C, let's see for substance C. <laughs> substance C says that it is very hard, does not conduct electricity, and has a melting point of 3,440 degrees Celsius. Okay, the key here for substance C is that it's super hard and it has a crazy high melting point. If we look at 3,000, you know, 3,440, as opposed to the other two, 3,000 is way higher than the other two melting points. So this substance is very hard and it's got a very high melting point. And if we look on the properties, we have a very hard property with a very high melting point. And it doesn't conduct electricity. This one does not conduct electricity. So this one has got to be a covalent network. Covalent network. And now the last substance, which probably is the last one that they didn't say, but let's just make sure that they, that it makes sense. Substance D is soft, does not conduct electricity and has a melting point of 185. This is a very low melting point compared to 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000. So molecular checks out here. Variable hardness, so some could be harder than others. Variable brittle, brittleness, some can be more brittle than others, but does not conduct electricity and very, very low melting points. And that's the 185 right here. So it checks out.
So this would be molecular. Look at that. And maybe I'll just put that the covalent network is also a solid. And we're done. We are done. Let's box this off and call it a video. Ooh, yeah. There you go. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for all your support throughout this whole journey. My brother and I, we really do appreciate all you guys. And let's just keep learning. Always keep learning. Keep studying. You will do well on your tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.